Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this Catherine wheel iPad or phone or laptop case which can be made in any size. So for my case I used a 5mm crochet hook and in this video I am using US terms. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your case you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot you want to take your yarn and take your finger and you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice. Then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook, go in through this space and pull tight. And there you have a slip knot. And when you make your slip knot, you may want to leave a long tail or a long end here, as we can use this end to sew up the bottom of our case once we have So once finished. you have your slip knot, you now want to make your foundation chain. And you can make your foundation chain as long or as short as you'd like, but you need to make your foundation chain long enough to go around your iPad or phone or laptop or tablet that you were making the case for. So you want to make a foundation chain and have it long enough to go all the way around the um, thing that you were making your case for. And your foundation chain must also be a multiple of 8. So you can chain 16, 80, 72, 48. It's up to you as long as you chain a multiple of 8 and it is the right length to go around the item that you were making your case for. So make your foundation chain a multiple of 8. So I have just finished making my foundation chain and I am making my case for my iPad and I chained 56. So you can chain whatever you like as long as it is a multiple of 8. And I would say it's always better to chain less than you think you may need. As you go on your case will stretch and your case will end up bigger than you may have expected. So I usually take off 8 stitches than I think I might need. So I have chained 56 and you can see that this just reaches around my um, iPad. So that will be just right as it will stretch a little bit. So make your foundation chain. So once chain. you have done that, what we are going to do is we are going to turn our foundation chain which we have here into a foundation ring. So you want to go all the way along your chain all the way to the very first chain that you worked. So I like to slowly go along my chain like this so that I make sure I am not twisting it in any places. So go all the way along to the very first foundation chain that you worked and insert your hook into this chain and then take your yarn and work a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And there you have turned your chain into a ring. And you need to go back and make sure that it is not twisted in any places. And if it is, just undo your slip stitch and redo it without the twists. And now we are ready to move on to round one of our So case. we are now on to round one. And to begin this round, you want to chain one. And this chain one does not count as a stitch. And we are now going to go down into this very first stitch that we worked here. And we're going to go down into this very first stitch and work one single crochet. So insert your hook down into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have one single crochet. And we're now going to skip three chains. So you want to skip one chain, two chains and three chains. And into this next chain here, we are going to do nine double crochets all into the stitch. So we have done single crochet, skip three chains and we're going to do nine double crochets all into the next stitch or the next chain. 
So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go into the chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet. So now yarn over and go into the same chain again and work a second double crochet. Then yarn over and work a third one into the same chain and a fourth, then a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth and ninth. So there we have nine double crochets all into that one chain. So now we're going to skip three chains, one, two, three, and into the next chain here, do one single crochet. So work one single crochet. Then we're going to skip three chains and into the next chain, do nine more double crochets. So yarn over and go into the chain and work nine double crochets all into this chain, just as we so just like did. That. So nine double crochets, and now skip three more chains, and into the next chain, do one single crochet. And we're going to repeat this all the way along for round one. We're going to skip three chains and do nine double crochets into the next chain. Then skip three more chains and do one single crochet into the next chain. Then repeat that again. Skip three chains, nine double crochets into the next chain. Skip three more chains and one single crochet into the next one. And this is what you will have. So we have done nine double crochets, skipped three chains and done one single crochet into the next one. So now we're going to skip one, two, three and all into the next chain we are going to do nine double crochets. So nine double crochets all into this next chain like that. Here. And now skip three more chains and do one single crochet into the next chain and keep repeating this all the way along. Skip three, nine double crochets into the next, skip three, one single crochet into the next. So I have next. almost finished working that all the way around for round one, and I have worked my last set of nine double crochets. So now we're going to skip the next three stitches, and into this very last stitch here, you want to work one last single crochet. So go into the stitch and work one last single crochet into this very last chain, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to finish off by working a slip stitch into the single crochet that we worked at the beginning of the round. So here is the single crochet that we worked at the beginning of the round and we're going to finish off by doing a slip stitch into that stitch. But whilst working the slip stitch, we are also going to change colours. So you want to insert your hook into this stitch, the single crochet, the very first single crochet. But then rather than yarning over and pulling through both loops as you would do with a normal slip stitch, drop the yarn that you were using and take your new yarn or your new colour. So take your new colour, place it over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through. So pull it through both loops, like that. And now you can pull this colour tight. So I'm going to pull this one tight, like that, and then fasten off. So cut your yarn, making sure that you leave a tail to weave in later. So I'm going to cut it, and I have left a long tail or long end that I can weave into the inside of my case later. And we are now ready to start round two using our so new So we are colour. now on to round two and to begin this round you want to chain three and turn. 
So chain one, two, three and turn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to skip this single crochet here. So skip the single crochets and move on to your first kind of shell here like this. So move on to the first shell. And what we're going to do is we are going to work four double crochets together over the first four stitches of the shell. So when we do four double crochets together, we are effectively turning four double crochets into one. So we're turning four stitches into one. So we're going to do four double crochets, but we are not going to complete any of them. And then we're going to complete all four of them together at the same time. So we're going to skip these stitches here and move on to the first stitch of the first shell here and yarn over and go into this stitch. Then yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there we have started one double crochet, but we're not going to complete this double crochet. Usually we would yarn over and pull through these two loops here, but we're not going to do that. We're going to leave this double crochet incomplete and move on to the next one. So yarn over and go into the next stitch of the shell, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there we have a second incomplete double crochet. And now we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. There we have a third incomplete double crochet, you can see. And we're going to do one last one. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And there we have four incomplete double crochets on our hook. And you want to yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook. So slowly pull through all of them. And there we have completed four double crochets together, like that. So now you want to chain four. So we're going to chain one, two, three and four and into this next stitch here, so the next stitch of the shell, we're going to work one single crochet. So go into the next stitch and this is the very middle of the shell and work one single crochet like that. And now once you have done that single crochet, you now want to chain three. So we're going to chain one, two and three. So you have chain four, single crochet, chain three. And we're now going to do nine double crochets together. So when we work nine double crochets together, we are using the exact same method as we did here for this stitch, the four double crochets together. But rather than doing four double crochets, we are going to do nine. So nine double crochets together over the next nine stitches. So you want to yarn over and go into the next stitch here, yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. There we have one incomplete double crochet. Now yarn over and go into the next stitch and do that a second time. There we have a second incomplete double crochet. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. There we have three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to do that a fourth time, like that. Then a fifth time, and here we're going down into the single crochet, so in between the shells, we're going into the single crochet and doing one incomplete double crochet. And there we have one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to work a sixth one then a seventh, then an eighth, so an eighth incomplete double crochet. 
and finally a ninth one. So nine incomplete double crochets and I would go back and count and make sure you have the right number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you should have 10 loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through all 10 of these loops. So all of the loops on your hook and go slowly because you don't want to drop them and have to start again. And now you want to chain four. So chain one, two, three, four. So we have done nine double crochets together, chain four. And then into the next stitch, we are going to do a single crochet. So into the next stitch here, do one single crochet. And then chain three. One, two, and three. Like that. And for the rest of round two, you want to repeat that set of stitches again and again and again. So we're going to do nine double crochets together, just as we did here. Then chain four, single crochet into the next stitch, and then chain three. Then repeat that again. Nine double crochets together, chain four, single crochet into the next chain, chain three. And keep repeating that again and again and again until you have gone all the way around. So I'm going to begin my next repetition and that starts with nine double crochets together. So yarn over and go into the next chain, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. There we have one incomplete double crochet and I'm going to do this until I have nine. So there's two. There's three, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, and finally nine. And you should have ten loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I do. So yarn over and pull through every single loop on your hook, like that. And there we have done nine double crochets together. So now chain one, two, three, and four. Into the next stitch here, go into the stitch and do a single crochet and then chain one, two, and three. Nine double crochets together, chain four, single crochet, chain three. And there we have that repetition, and we're going to keep doing that again and again and again until we reach the end of the round. And you can see this is what is creating our really pretty Catherine wheel. So I'm going to begin my next repetition and continue this all the way around. So I have just finished repeating that again and again for round two and I have done my last set of nine double crochets together, chain four, single crochet, chain three 
and this is what you should have left. And to finish off this round, we are going to work five double crochets together. So to do five double crochets together, we are still using the exact same method as we did here for the four and along for the nine, but this time we're doing five incomplete double crochets. So yarn over and go into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. There we have one. Now I'm going to do that a second time and a third time then a fourth and finally a fifth time. So go into this last stitch here and do a last incomplete double crochet. You should have six loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all six. And now like to finish that. off round two, you want to go to the first set of four double crochets together that we worked here and you want to go into the top of this stitch. So go right at the top here and work a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And we are sticking with the same color for next round. So do not fasten off. And we are now ready to move on to round three. So we are on to round three and to begin this round, chain four and turn. So chain one, two, three and four and turn. And to begin this round, we are going to do four double crochets into the top of this stitch here. So this stitch is the set of five double crochets together from last round. So here, the very last set that we did, and you want to yarn over and go into the very top and work four double crochets all into this stitch. So four double crochets, and we are doing whole double crochets here, not incomplete ones. Whole double so there crochets. There I have my chain four and one, two, three, four double crochets. And now we're going to skip on forward to this single crochet in the middle here. So skip all of these chains and go to the single crochet and you want to go into this single crochet and work one single crochet. So we are working one single crochet into the single crochet here. And now we're going to skip all of these chains here and go to this stitch. So this is the set of nine double crochets together from last round, so this little stitch. And into this stitch, we are going to work nine double crochets. So yarn over and go into this stitch and work one double crochet and again complete double crochet then work a second one then a third then a fourth fifth all the way up so to like nine. That. So there we have nine double crochets all into that one stitch there. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round three. Into every single crochet from last round, work one single crochet. And into every set of nine double crochets together from last round, work nine double crochets. So into the center of the stitch there. So we'll do single crochet, nine double crochets, single crochet, nine double crochets, all the way around for round three. So we're going to go into the single crochet here and work one single crochet into this stitch. And now we're going to skip on to this set of stitches here and yarn over and go into kind of the eye of this stitch. So right in the center, and work nine double crochets all into this stitch. So there we have two, three, and do this until you have nine double crochets. So like that, so there I have my nine double crochets and just continue this all the way around. Skip all of these, go to the single crochet and do a single crochet. Then skip all of the next set of stitches here Go to this center and do nine double crochets. So I'm just coming to the end of round three and I have done my last single crochet here. 
And now to finish off this round, we're going to go into the top of this stitch here. So this is our set of four double crochets together from the beginning of last round. And we're going to yarn over and go into the top of this stitch and work five double crochets. So do five double crochets all into the top. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then to finish off the round, we're going to go into the top of the chain four that we did at the very beginning. So here is the chain four that we did at the beginning of the round. And you want to go into the top of this stitch. So here I have the one, two, three, four, go into the very top and work a slip stitch. But whilst working this slip stitch, we are going to change colours. So I'm going to drop the yarn that I was using. So drop the yarn that you were using, take the new colour, place it over the end of your hook and pull it through. And now you can fasten off the colour that you were using and we are ready to move on to round four. So we are four. now on to round four and to begin this round you want to chain four. So chain one, two, three and four and turn. And now this round is very similar to round two. What we're going to do is we're going to repeat sets of nine double crochets together chain four, single crochet, chain three, again and again and again. So just as we did in round two. So what we're going to do is we are going to skip this first stitch here. So we're not going to go into this very first stitch. So this is the first double crochet of this set here. We're going to skip this one and into this next stitch is where we are going to start our first set of nine double crochets together. So yarn over, skip this stitch, go into the next one, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. So there we have one incomplete double crochet and you need to do that nine times. So yarn over and go into the next stitch and do that a second time. Then a third, then a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, seventh, eighth, and finally a ninth time. So there we have nine double crochets together and you should have 10 loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And yarn over and pull through all 10 loops like that. And there we have completed the stitch. And now you want to chain one, two, three, and four. Go into the next stitch here to go into the very next stitch and work a single crochet, then chain one, two and three and repeat that again and continue to repeat that again and again for round four, just as we did in this round here, round two. So I'm going to begin my next repetition. So I'm going to start off with another set of nine double crochets together. So yarn over and go into the next stitch and work one incomplete double crochet and do this nine times. So there I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Then yarn over, pull through all of the loops on your hook, chain four, one, two, three and four, like that. Then work a slip stitch into the next stitch and then chain three. 
and continue this all the way around and this is what this round looks like so it looks really really pretty so just continue to repeat that again and again so and I again. So I have just finished working that all the way along and I have done my last set and chain four and now we're going to do one last single crochet into the top of this last stitch here so it may be a little bit difficult to see where this last stitch is but just kind of go to this last stitch of your previous colour go into this stitch and work one last single crochet so we have done nine double crochets together chain four single crochet and now you want to work a slip stitch into this very first chain of the chain four that you worked in the very beginning so here we have the first chain and go into this chain and work a slip stitch and we're not changing colors so just work a full slip stitch and there we have round four completed one two three four and this is what we have so far and we are ready to move on to round so five. we are now on to round five and to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and now we're going to go down into this very first stitch here and work a single crochet so go down into this first stitch and work one single crochet and now we're going to skip on to the center of this set of nine double crochets together and work nine double crochets. So skip the chains, go to the center of the nine double crochets together and work nine double crochets all into this stitch. So into the center of this stitch. So this is just as we have so done there before. I have nine double crochets into that stitch there. And now we're going to skip the chains and go to the next single crochet and do one single crochet into this stitch. And you simply want to repeat this again and again and again just as we did in round three. So we're going to do nine double crochets into the eye of this stitch here. So into the center of the sets of nine double crochets together, work nine double crochets, and this is complete double crochets all into that stitch. Then work one single crochet into the single crochet. Then nine double crochets, single crochet, nine double crochets, single crochet, all the way around. So I have around. just finished working that all the way along for round five. And now to finish off this round, you want to work one last single crochet into this last stitch here. So I have worked my nine double crochets, and then I'm going to go into this last stitch, this last chain here, and I'm going to go into this stitch and work one last single crochet and then to finish off the round you want to go into this single crochet here and work a slip stitch so here we have the first single crochet of round five and we're going to go into this stitch and work a slip stitch but whilst doing the slip stitch i am also going to change colors so I'm going to drop the yarn that I was using and take my new yarn or my new colour, place this over the end of my crochet hook and pull this through like that. And you can then fasten off the colour that you were using, making sure that you leave a tail to weave in later. And we're ready to move on to the next round using our new so colour. So at this point, we have completed rounds one through to five. So we have done round one, two, three, four, and five. And for the rest of our case, you simply want to repeat rounds two through to five again and again and again. So we have just finished round five. So now you want to repeat round two again then round three, then round four, and then round five. And then we're going to begin our next repetition. So repeat round two again, then round three, then four, then five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, as many times as you like until you feel that your case is long enough. So you can repeat those rounds as many times as you like. 
So you can go back in the video and re-watch those rounds, rounds two through to five, or you may be able to remember them. So I'm going to begin my first repetition of round two. So we're starting two. round two and we're going to do this in the exact same way as we did before. You want to begin by chaining three and turning. So chain three and turn to begin round two. Then we're going to skip the single crochet here and we're going to start off by working four double crochets together. So yarn over and go into the next stitch and start to work four double crochets together and you just want to continue with round two all the way around and then do round three then round four then round five and then repeat that again and you can do that as many times as you like so keep repeating those rounds until you feel that your case is so long I enough. So I finished repeating those rounds, rounds two through to five, again and again and again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three. And then I finished off on a round four so that I had the flat edge at the top of my So you can case. finish on whatever round you like, but if you finish on round two or round four, you will have a flat edge at the top. And then once I did that, I worked my last slip stitch, and then I decided to make a button loop. So you don't have to do this, but what I did was I made a long chain, and then I worked a slip stitch back into the same stitch that my chain comes out of, and then I fastened off and attached a button here, and there I have a button loop to join my case together at the top. And then the very last thing that I did was along the bottom of my case, I sewed this up using the whip stitch. So I took a yarn needle and a piece of yarn, or you can use your end from when you did your slip knot, and I worked the whip stitch all the way along to join it up along the bottom. And then I weaved all of my ends into the inside of my case and I have So that finished. is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And thanks again for watching. Bye.